2018 is already halfway there and we have been blessed with lots and lots of interesting games and of course games to let us play, let us feel and to let us scream at. Today we'll be taking a look at the best games 2018 has given us so far and you'll be getting to choose which game will be taking home the best game of the year by voting at our website where a link will appear somewhere around here or maybe here where, where is it again oh oh here 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 our first game will be god of war also known as the disappointed father simulator because let's be honest here if someone is going to be yelling at you 24 7 first of all they either misunderstood you for being deaf or they are really 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 disappointed with you and to be honest, I don't think it's the former. Inside, boy. Boy, beneath the floor. Boy. Boy. Here. Boy. Boy. You are in your head, boy. Either way, God of War is unmistakably one of the best games in 2018. Although the hack and slash aspect of the game remains unchanged, but they have moved on with a linear upgrading path, and now you can craft and upgrade your equipment, just like an RPG. With exciting backstory and beautiful places to explore, should I add that there is one tiny detail that you will be followed by a wise, speaking, severe head that will tell you mythological stories? And the last thing you two need up there is a decomposing heat ruin in the moment. Why don't I wait for you here? This is between you and the boy. The next game will be Sea of Thieves. With the Pirates of the Caribbean being so famous, it's no wonder that a game will be made for you to be a pirate with your friends. But unlike the Pirates of the Caribbean, this is more like Pirates of the Circus. Because um, since everything is child friendly and no barrels are harmed in the game, You and your friends come into the game and you are given no tasks and no quests. That means you have total freedom in this game, okay? You don't need to do anything, you can just do anything you want. You can just get quests, dig treasures, um, give quests, um, dig more treasures and maybe get some more quests and dig more treasures up. In conclusion, Sea of Thieves is a game where you want to play with your friends and you don't want to play it solo. But of course, you, you can play solo. I'm not judging you. <laughs> solo. <laughs> Would you like a game where every single move you make counts and all the way to the moment where you meet the final boss? Then Detroit Become Human will be the game for you. In Detroit Become Human, you play as an android with a clear and simple goal in mind. But if you wander aimlessly and you go straight for the boss stage, you're not going to be having a good time. So before you go and you accomplish whatever your task is, your job is to roam around and look for clues and that can help you. Whether it's a gun or a slice of cheese, you're going to need every help you can get. And of course, maybe somehow you just get a bonus cheat or something, I don't know. You can't kill me. I'm not alive. Tell that helicopter to get out of here. It's up to you how the story ends. If jumping around and jumping in midair and jumping from one place to another is your type of game, then you might want to play or you might already have played Celeste. 
You play as a girl who wishes to climb to the top of the celeste mountain and while you're doing that, obstacles that should not be in a mountain, I repeat, obstacles that should not be in a mountain like spike balls, sudden moving walls, or maybe those things that should not be in mountains will come and stop you. I have no idea why, but until you reach the end of the game, spoiler alert, you will realize that it's actually your evil twin sister that's been calling you and trying to kill you. So your main goal of the video game is to go up the mountain and meet your evil twin sister and save her, which she, she doesn't want to, but she wants you to come. I'm thinking I'm seeing a plot hole right there. Nevertheless, the game was a nerve-wracking experience and I have never raged so much before trying to pluck a strawberry out of midair. Not that I've tried in real life, but come on, to be honest, plucking a strawberry in midair. Come on, so tired, okay? For the next game, A Way Out. A Way Out is where you and your co-op partner find, as the name suggests, a way out. But after you get your way out, you also need to get the F out. Since you ran away from a maximum security prison, there's going to be a lot of po police chasing you for wherever you go. So, yeah, a way out, the F out, yeah, I see the resemblance. While playing this game, you realize that your best friend is also actually your worst enemy. Because if one of you make a simple mistake, the ch chances are you both are probably just going to screw both of you up. So you either find a good teammate or you both be bad and yeah, you both just screw each other up. That's all for this episode. Which game is your favorite? And of course, if you'd like to see more of these videos, you can click here or you can subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this. And if you like this video, please hit the like button. And of course, if you want to know any notifications from our channel, hit the subscribe button and the small bell next to it so you receive notifications. And of course, finally, remember to vote for your favorite game on the link down below. It's just a link, it's just a quick selection. Just click on your favorite game and that is all. My name is Alan and that's all from me.